Hello everyone, this is Vic and welcome to my first step-by-step -step video. Uh, today I will show you how I made a picture of Daenerys with her dragons. You will be later able to view the picture on my Patreon if you are my patron. I started a C-shape for some basic dynamic pose. Then I sketch up the body for which I... I usually use these kind of very simple geometrical shapes to get the anatomy right. Uh, I'm saving a lot because my computer is a dick and tends to crash uh, exactly when I didn't save for 20 minutes. Uh, I also have to know that I, I had to stop several times and actually get on the floor and try to pose myself because I wasn't entirely sure that this works. Uh, this is a second sketch. I am making up to three sketch layers. Uh, this one already contains more details. I'm fixing the anatomy, making sure it's right. Uh, here come the dragons. I've never actually drawn dragon before, maybe when I was a kid, but that's many years ago. Uh, so I based most of their look on uh, on iguanas and uh, some other reptiles. Uh, the wings are obviously anatomically completely incorrect, but when it comes to dragons, I don't really give a damn. Uh, the glimpses of the note you see there, those are my notes on the dragons because it's many years back since I read the books and I noticed that the dragons in the show aren't exactly the same as they were described originally in the books. So I, uh, I had to peek into Vicky and, and look up how exactly they were described. Yeah, the, the wings are gonna come up later. That was... Uh, serious problem for me. Okay, now I always move the picture so the face is on the right angle because uh, when, when you're drawing a face and you don't have it in the right angle, uh, the features are, are usually completely wrong. I'm also gonna change the Face very severely during the drawing. This is just the initial idea. Yeah, here come here come lines. Uh, I had obviously a serious problem with the wings. I had to change it several times because I'm absolutely unable to draw a straight line, especially two straight lines beside that. That's a problem. So I ended up using a pen tool, which I really I, I don't like using pen tool very much. But in this case it worked, especially since it's only on this little detail on the wings. I also edited the video a little. I, I almost finished the wings when I realized how horrible it looked like and I had to cut it out because it was a complete waste of time. Uh, I am... I am having lines for the dragons and for Daenerys in separate layers uh, because with this kind of illustration I like to color the lines and from experience it's the easiest to do this when you have it separate, although a lot of you probably wouldn't agree with me. I'm gonna add more details on the dragons later. This is basically the part where I'm making just uh, very elementary lines, fixing anatomy. I have very, very slight OCD and I don't really like having the sketch layers there, so you can notice that immediately after outlining certain part, I'm erasing the, the sketch lines. Uh, also, previously, when I was sketching up 
Danny's face, you could notice that I copy pasted her eye. Uh, I do that only when the, the, the face is from, uh, from front. And it's only in the sketch to get the right proportions, because I really tend to make the eyes not exactly the same. So whenever I'm gonna be outlining them right now, um, I'm not gonna copy paste anymore, I will just like... Yeah, you see that. I'm outlining them separately. Uh, the reason I didn't draw inside of the eyes is because uh, with especially with people who have lighter eyes I don't draw outline of the irises and I am using only color and shading and it looks a little it's it's better contrast it looks better in my opinion and a little bit more struggling with the wings even I swear I'm never gonna draw a dragon again Honestly, I'm a little disappointed with the way I drew the dragons. You see that I changed her face because uh, originally she was looking to right, and I thought that her making eye contact with the camera is going to be a little more interesting. Uh, so anyway, I'm not very satisfied with how I drew the dragons. They look too innocent and not not scary enough. Then again, those are babies. By the way, this is supposed to be the scene. Uh, which was very disappointingly made in the in the uh, show. In the books, uh, it was better described when Daenerys actually hatched the eggs. Know that I'm saying that the books were somehow better than the show. It's just that there were several scenes which were more interesting. Now I'm adding some details on the dragons, uh, some light scales. It was a mistake not to put the uh, details in a sever uh, separate layer. I should have done that. I didn't. No, because I could use the scales as outline highlights. Yeah, so this is the moment where I realized that I need to give it some some style and I decided to go for like Art Nouveau inspired uh, type of illustration. This is... It, it's not entirely Art Nouveau. Art Nouveau is much more difficult than this. This is basically just... It's supposed to kind of remind you of it. It's uh, mostly the style of the, the hair, a little bit of the composition, the fact that the picture is actually bleeding to background. This is extremely relaxing. Uh, I was watching Shrek the Fourth when, when I was drawing this. Oh, I forgot to mention, I am drawing this, these lines for uh, the hair forming the frame in completely separate layer. Because they're actually going to be completely in background. Yeah, I'm left-handed. I have serious problems drawing uh, horizontal lines. Vertical don't make any problem. They, 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 they are... Those are easy, but uh, for whatever reason, horizontal lines are a serious problem. I remember when I was studying art, my professor told me to never, ever, ever rotate the canvas, because if I were painting something really large, like two plus meters uh, canvas, I'm not going to be able to do this. That's fire. 
I hope it's very obvious. Uh, I like drawing fire, especially this this stylized version of fire. It makes great atmosphere. It's really easy. You see that I'm already outlining. That is again a completely separate layer. It's just a piece of advice if you're starting in Photoshop or in in any of these graphic programs for the matter. Try to put everything in separate layers because that way you can always play with it, you can come back to it and change whatever you want. You can completely erase it. It is much less work than if you just draw all the lines in one layer and then you realize that you don't like certain part of the picture. Yeah, here I'm already making the hair. Again, a separate layer because I'm gonna be outlining them uh, lighter than the rest. I am not very satisfied with the way I I drew the hair here. Could have could have looked much better. Now I was trying to connect her hair on the upper layer to the hair on the lower layer and make it bleed together better. This is cleaning up. We're almost in the middle. Once I'm done with the lines, I'm gonna get to coloring. By the way, this is... Uh, I, I sped this up 16 times because otherwise this was like 4 hours. Yeah, here is some completely unnecessary recoloring of the lines. And here I'm already on the colors, so I sped this up even more because this takes insane amount of time. Uh, I recently learned to color mostly with uh, the filling tool and then just color in the details. It's faster, it's a little limiting because you actually have to close all the lines and you have to come back and fix everything a million times, especially if you are not using very thick lines, as I don't. I broke her ankle there a little, I just now noticed. Yeah, this was me trying to clean up the lines a little. So yeah, this is Dragon, obviously. I know he's supposed to be black, I'm gonna recolor him a little later. Again, the wings, of course, will be different color. This is just for contrast. You can notice that I made them slightly transparent. Uh, this is underlayer uh, for Daenerys and the dragons and her hair, which was fully colored and it's basically there because with the with the filling tool you never manage to fill up everything. There's gonna be tiny, tiny places uh, where the filling tool just, just didn't reach and there is almost no way to notice every single one of them. So I'm always putting darker, darker layer under everything. And here I'm already recoloring the lines for Danny. I decided to actually make her like Platinum, silverish, blonde. I absolutely loved uh, Emilia Clarke's Daenerys in the show. For whatever reason, I tend to uh, draw my own depiction of characters. 
Uh, and here we are already with the shading. I learned to never use black or white for shading and out uh, highlights. It, it looks better, it's more atmospheric and looks more natural if you actually use some color. So here for her I use this kind of reddish brown because there's going to be the fire under her. You see that the light source is going from from under her. That was really stupidly sad, whatever. I'm going to really have to work on my shading. This is this is not looking as good as I imagined originally. And yellow highlights for the fire. More intense closer to the fire, less intense as we are getting down. Now I'm gonna add some details to the face. I never leave the white of the eyes actually white. It came out a little bit more manga-ish than I'm used to, but yeah, that, that might be because I just gave her slightly bigger eyes than usual. Uh, we are getting close to the end. Here I'm shading hair, trying to give them some kind of volume. Some darker parts. And now for the dragon. So here I was checking what the actual coloration is. Dragon's supposed to be black. I never use solid black or uh, grayscale. Uh, so I use this kind of brownish, warm color. I was absolutely unable to find anywhere what is the eye color of the other two dragons. I I don't even remember if it's mentioned anywhere in the books. Some highlights for the wings here, you can already see it with the fire. And it's starting to look much better, in my opinion. It, it already is getting some kind of shape. Yeah, uh, I will remake this like four times because I, yeah, I fucked up the colors, so yeah, it's remaking. Well, here, he, he's supposed to be like a white dragon. He is described to be creamy and goldish. So, I don't know, this is probably completely wrong. Yeah, some minor details have are gone. And again, fixing the lines. And now I'm gonna be adding some highlights to the dragons to give them some volume and make them look uh, more slick. I guess they are supposed to have like rough scales, but I, I really like the idea that they actually have almost like snake skin. So very smooth. Now 
now I'm adding some darker places to uh, make the dragons part of her the picture. So so their shadows actually are reacting to her body. Some some changes on the lines. Uh, I color the lines on the dragons too. And now I'm adding final details in completely separate layer with very pale yellow. <clears throat> uh, some extra hair, some details on the face, minor highlight to make her pop out a little more, and more shading on the face. And I like adding these very light lines. Oops, to manga. Yeah, some final effects. I like using different types of bleed in the in, in Photoshop. And done. Here is the final picture. I'm going to show you some details. Dragons actually don't look all that bad. Okay, and we are done.